Welcome and thanks for purchasing our online mini course, Get Your Guru Going. I'm Dr. Michael Shermer. He is, and I'm the Reverend Brian Sun Young Dalton, and we're here to teach you everything there is to know about New Age Spiritual Guru Tree. The real power of the New Age Spiritual Guru is in pretending to know about things that no one really understands. If you can do that with authority, your mystical power will be established. Pander to people's hopes and fears, and never forget that people are absolutely terrified of the unknown. What was that? Did you hear that? You can start by asking yourself, what are some of the things that people are most ignorant about? Politics? Yep. Religion? That's true. Lady Gaga's motivation? Absolutely. But again, we're looking for something widely misunderstood. Is it science? Bingo! And in particular, the hard sciences. Physics, mathematics, and the granddaddy of them all, quantum mechanics. I took my car to a quantum mechanic once. He was very particular. Physicist Richard Feynman said, I think I can safely say that nobody understands quantum mechanics. Heck, I don't even understand classical mechanics, although I do like Mozart. Picking a field that hardly anyone understands is what we call casting, casting a, a wide, wide net. net. If you can pretend to have knowledge in a field widely misunderstood, like advanced science, health and wellness, or the supernatural, people will flock to you and you'll be able to say almost anything without the fear of being challenged. Because who's going to call you out? Me? Michael? No, nobody understands this stuff, okay? You just have to remember to avoid gatherings at places like Caltech or MIT, because that could be embarrassing. Your next step is to take the language of the field you've chosen, in this case science, and appropriate it for your own purposes. And here, a little knowledge goes a long way. Read up on your field for the purpose of grabbing catchphrases and concepts to build on. And don't be afraid to use the terminology from multiple widely misunderstood fields like, say, consciousness and quantum mechanics. Mix and match at will. Just make sure that whatever you say sounds sciency. Ladies and gentlemen, consciousness is merely the potentiality of quantum locality expressing itself beyond the constraints of four-dimensional space-time. And that is the externalization of what we call love. Thank you very much. Thank you. Here are some other examples. Mindfulness, on the other hand, differentiates itself into the multidimensional expanse of external reality. It really is that simple. Quantum perception embraces all potential space-time events exponentially. Cosmic balance is simply the way the universe transcodes the raw potential of quantum energy into unbridled happiness. Wow, you sound super smart when you talk like that. I'd follow you anywhere. Well, then follow me out of this mini course, Michael, because we're out of time. Will do, but first, let's recap. Number one, don't forget that people's ignorance is your best friend. Number two, pander to people's hopes and fears. Number three, speak with authority about things very few people understand. Number four, misappropriate the language of various fields of study. And most importantly, number five, sound sciency. So thanks again for joining us, and don't forget, the, the infinite potential of your nine-dimensional soul already comprehends the mechanics of external reality. If you can internalize that, you're home free.